Right everyone, web collector here. This is going to be my uh, detailed video on the um, lead weighted truncheon mace or uh, lead weighted studded mace I suppose you'd call it. So uh, I'll show you it and I'll talk about it and, and I'll show you some making of pictures at the end. I didn't actually do pictures of all of the making of but you get the basic idea. So well, this is the truncheon, you can see it here, made of 10 mil ply that's glued together, six layers. Uh, the lead is encased inside, so it won't actually come out, or you know, it won't rattle or anything. It it's about that long inside, and probably about that thick. <clears throat> You'll see it later. Rolled up lead. I'll just roll it up, and then the edges are a couple of um, just slabs of lead. Uh, yeah, three, uh, six layers. And this is made completely. <clears throat> this is made completely without any um, any particles and no lathe either. This is just this is just done with basically a hand saw and some uh, <clears throat> rasp files, and that's it really. Um, and some sandpaper and that. So, you know, I'll show you a close up of the bands there. The bands are aluminium, and they're just drilled through and then put the uh, large headed um, screws in both the bands and even those I didn't use uh, I didn't even use the saw to cut this aluminium <clears throat> if you if you get aluminium and score it deep enough with a standing knife you can just snap it so there's the bands here's the handle like I said no lathe completely Handmade. The only thing I used was a drill, well, which was to drill the air holes for the uh, screw, so I didn't split anything. Round it over and there. Yeah, I don't know. I'll measure it quickly just so you know if you haven't seen the other video. It's short. It's only it's about ten and a half inches. <clears throat> I wanted a little, you know, little um mace. I just thought it'd be good. Just make a good little weapon, you know. Uh, you know, it looks good. Looks medieval. Yes, yeah, so there it is. There's the uh, uh, the uh, the bands are actually jointed. I don't know if you see this, but there's a joint. It's joined just there. If I show you on the edge here, you'll see where I just chamfered the edges. Let's see if you can see this one. Uh, see the can't really see it and I deliberately left the uh, the varnish, it's oak effect varnish, I deliberately left it on the metal to give it an aged look I could have cleaned up the uh, metal afterwards but I deliberately left I just I just put the uh, the oak effect on the metal as well I thought I'd leave it on there because it uh, gives it a sort of old worn sort of look so I'll tell you what I'll do now I'll quickly show you the um, I'll show you the making of pictures now. It's about three minutes long and there's not everything on it, but here they are anyway.
Right, so that was the uh, making of pictures. And as you can see, it's completely, completely done with just a saw. All you do is you just, cut, just, keep, just keep cutting the sections off. You know, you cut in that way and along that way until you get the basic shape. This is actually slightly longer than how it was in the uh, making of video that finished right there. But I found it was too thick, so I made it longer, the actual tapered part. But yeah, if you've got um, uh, if you've got a vice and some hand saws, a pencil and a ruler, you could make one of these. You know, and the rasp files do not need a lathe to turn this shape. As you saw, this was completely square. You know, and you won't get it completely round, but it doesn't matter. It gives it a gives it a nicer look, I think. Yeah, I'll definitely do another one of these, probably double the length of this, and uh, and then I might do a a flail like a ball and chain mace, you know. So yeah, this was it. That was the uh, studded mace in a bit more detail. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit my blog. There'll be links below. They're normally blown more info section. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, like